Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we are going to talk about how we can uh, easily jump to another section in the same page by using two methods. First of all, we are going to see uh, HTML and CSS technique, and then we'll see the JavaScript method. So let's go to Elementor dashboard. Uh, the first page is home page. So let's see what we are going to do first so this is a button and this is not doing anything right now but i want if i click this get started button then it will take me to this uh, introdu introducing to our services section so let's go to this button and uh, then go to content i want to link it to this section first go to this section and let's put an id here so i have put our services id you can put anything so and then go to this button and in the link tab here just write hash and then this id so update and then let's refresh the page so if we click on this button this is working but sometimes it does not work for confliction of any id or any kind of issues may appear the problem happens when you are just clicking on this i button the problem happens when you are clicking on this button but you are not uh, going to any sections or you are going to a wrong sections Maybe you are clicking on this button, but you are going to halfway there, not the exact position. So, how to fix this? So, in this way, uh, we cannot fix this by just using ID. So, we are going to see how we can fix it with JavaScript. So, let's see. Uh, we are just going to remove the link ID and let's see we have to set an id for this button so this since this is called get started i will add an id here get started so now i will add html code you can put it anywhere let's say we put it here and be sure you put it somewhere uh, below this button because this we are going to add this uh, button in our javascript code so if you put it uh, above this uh, button then it will not work so we are going to write some javascript so we will add the script tag then we have to uh, identify the id or the button with the id so let's write document dot get element meant by id then we put the id of this button so we got this button right then we add add event listener then for the event listener we will have to say what event we will uh, use here so we want to use click event that means we if we click here then something will happen so let's say click and then uh, we need to say this button what will happen if the user clicks so this is what we are going to uh, write here so we want this button to take us to this part this section and since we want to identify this section so we know we have already an id so we will use this id here to identify this section so let's see let's write document dot get element by id like 
the previous one but now we want to identify this one so let's put this id here so we want to scroll to this section so let's say scroll into view and then parenthesis then we need to we may say here like uh, behavior behavior can be smooth so sorry we have to change the um spelling just so this is it so let's update then refresh the page so let's click on this button yeah it takes us to the exact section that's it for today i will see you in the next video